guys welcome back to my channel i'm ziggy based in abuja nigeria i'm all about fashion lifestyle and general nonsense <laughs> today i want to do a very quick video i've i came across something like this on youtube just randomly and i was like this is going to be very fun to shoot so it's going to be like random facts about me see i'm trying to bring back old youtube you guys know like old school youtube when they have like different tags and just different challenges i'm trying to give you guys videos like that so let me just start with this one first so this is going to just be random facts about me i've done a video introducing myself before in the past i'm going to link it below but i just feel like everything i'm mentioning here i don't think i mentioned it in the video and i don't think you guys know that about me so it's basically going to be very random just things you might not know about me so let's just go it's going to be 10 random facts and to be very short brief and straight to the point so let's get right into it number one i love to watch people eat <laughs> i don't know how weird that is but if you're like me please anything i'm mentioning you're like me please just let me know that i'm not alone say it in the comment below see i love to watch people eat i love watching mukbangs i don't even mean like posh eating i mean like those nasty like you know how mukbangers eat like those kind of videos like you know how people enjoy watching people press like pimples or remove things from their ear or remove scabs and all of that i enjoy watching people eat like it's actually not normal but then again i don't think i'm alone because when you see views on those mukbangs you're seeing like millions of views so you realize i'm not the only one you know, so I have major OCD. Like, I think it's probably becoming a problem. But to be honest, ever since I got married, I think it's getting better because I married the complete opposite of who I am. I am so bad that if if you enter a place I've been in or a place I arranged to put things together and you move something, I would know. Like, I, I would just know. Even if you put it back the same way, it would never be the same way I put it. Like, I will know. The throw pillows in the house, if you move it, I will know. If <laughs> it is so bad, like, but the good thing with mine is that I hope, I hope I don't make it that obvious, like, because I love hosting people. So when people come to my house, I try to make them feel comfortable. But best believe as soon as you leave this house, I'm going to put everything back in order. Like, it's so weird. I, I'm the kind of person that if I travel and come back, I have to unpack my things. If I travel, I have to unpack. Like, I don't like things inside the box. I like things hanging. I like things a certain way. When I come back, I can't, I, I don't know how people do that. Like, I cannot even start my life if I not unpack my stuff. Like, everything needs to be unpacked and arranged back the way it's meant to be. Like, oh, God. <laughs> it's just horrible, basically. Yes. That's three, I started and finished school super young. And I think it was the same for all my siblings, to be honest. My dad just through all of us in school super young and it's a good thing because i mean it just made me finish everything super young and i was able to live life before i got married i started primary i finished primary school at eight i think and I, I i i did up to primary five yeah so i entered my secondary school at nine i turned 10 in secondary school like the first my just when i turned 10 and i finished secondary school around 15. i was so young that i couldn't even start my uni i had to wait a year till i was 16 to start my uni and when I started my uni, you know how you, when you travel abroad, you do like a foundation course. So I did a foundation course for a year in a different college called Langside College. And when I was done with that, I was meant to enter University of Glasgow. But I now realized that University of Glasgow have their own college. So I have to go and do their own foundation in their own college. So I wasted another one year <laughs> and I studied the foundation in uh, Glasgow International College before I now went to University of Glasgow. And even after doing all of all those things, I finished doing everything. I still finished school at 21 did my masters at 22 so in those days when we were in school eight years ago that's when i was done with everything basically so number four i have something called tripophobia i had to learn i didn't even know what the name was it's called tripophobia basically the fear of holes cluster like holes together i don't know how to explain like you know i'm sure if you google it you'll see it i'm not going to put a picture here because i don't want to watch back this video and see it even thinking about it, i'm having goosebumps you know when you have holes you know how a beehive is or like when holes are together you know when it rains exactly you know when you have sand and it rains and those dots on the side okay yeah basically i have something called tripophobia that's what it calls i have a fear of holes i hate holes together and i have a fear of public speaking it's called glossophobia i think that's what, the way you pronounce it public speaking i hate People always see me and they think I'm not shy. I don't know why I always give you guys the impression that I'm not shy. See, I don't mind talking to a group of people. Like, you know when you go out to chill with people and you're talking. But once they put me on the spot and say, talk about, my mouth goes dry. My heart starts beating. I start sweating. Like, 
my hands start shaking i hate it like i don't like when i go for events like when you go for someone's birthday dinner and they're like oh yeah tell me how you know the celebrant let's start with you i'm like i, I just came here to drink <laughs> i just want to eat and drink and go. i don't want to tell no i hate public speaking with all my i don't even know how i'm going to do it like i don't even know i did it in school i don't know how i did presentations but you know when you just have no choice but to do it i can cope with when you give me enough time if you tell me oh you're going to be speaking on this i can try and just make up my mind and say you know what let me just do it but know that just from nowhere you tell me about this <sighs> let me tell you guys a story actually last time my dad was celebrating his birthday and they told me to sing for him like his friends and everyone they were all there and i was super young then i think i just finished secondary school i think or so yeah and they were like oh sing for daddy I promise you i did not sing these are like proper prominent men like grown-ups <laughs> and i was there and they're like sing for daddy it's not like i didn't want to I, I physically could not like they gave me the mic it was a big event and i could not sing like they kept on looking for ways to say happy I, I could not continue i was looking at them like it was so bad like so it's getting better now because the way more you grow up the more you realize that you know what you can do it but when i was younger it was so bad and i really if i can avoid public speaking i'm going to avoid it basically i don't like it number five i enjoy horror movies like i actually enjoy watching horror movies if i feel like i'm having a stressful day or i want to move my mind from stuff i put on horror movies to watch like i've come to realize that it's not real so no matter how horror or how scary it is like i'll panic i'll jump and everything but i actually still enjoy watching it like i like it when it's even like from nowhere like the suspense just here <laughs> <laughs> I like movies. I don't have nightmares about them. I don't imagine them in my sleep. None of that. Like it's it's all fake. So, but when you give me like true crime, like all these documentaries, be like it's a true story. Those ones scare me. I'm like, so this really happened. But when it's like fiction, I know it's fiction. It's, it's really no none. I've not seen any movie that scared me to a point where I'm like, I cannot watch it. Like I actually enjoy watching horror movies. But six, I have never been on top of a bike, <laughs> Okada bike, power bike. Any how you want to put it, I have never been on top of a bike and it's not because i'm bougie i've actually had my my experience with bikes before where it wasn't an accident but basically they dropped me one day i went to lesson and instead of entering the class for my lesson <laughs> i stopped by to go and buy a suit for my booking so when i was trying to cross the main road this bike was coming so fast and i was trying to avoid the bike the bike was trying to avoid me and that's how i jumped and fell and scratched and wounded myself all over the place and the bike didn't even hit me because the bike was trying to avoid me i don't even know i just hated bikes after that day i was in primary school then i think and after that i had a story my my friend she was on a bike and her leg got like into the tire or something so like i don't even know how the story was but her toes cut into the wheels i'm not explaining so like, she had serious um she had to do like go to the hospital and do all of that so with that as well too and to be honest growing up People entering bike were like big girls and big boys if you think about it. Like my siblings, they were allowed to like, it was like big boy stuff. You enter, you sag your trouser, you enter Brisbane blue. Me, I was not allowed to even enter bikes to be honest. So all of that together, I just got to a point in my life where it was just not necessary anymore. So I've never been on a bike before. Yeah, even take picture. <laughs> I actually want to just enter the bike to take a picture at least, but I've just never been. Seven, I cannot drive a manual car i know they always say that if you cannot drive a manual car then you cannot drive it's a lie i can drive but if you give me a manual car i cannot move it from point a to point b i have just i didn't learn how to drive a manual car i've never had manual cars around me i've tried i, I i've actually tried with my friend's mom's car before but i just never learned how to do it so if there's an emergency and the only car available is a manual car we're all gonna die we're all gonna die <laughs> Just automatic cars. I don't know if you're with me. If you're with me, please say it because who has time for manual? And I'm thinking I want to get too far. Nah. So yeah, I've never been, I've never driven a manual car. I don't know how to drive a manual car. And to be honest, I don't intend on learning. I don't want to learn. Or in German, at least for now. Number eight, I have never been to the north. I mean, some people consider Abuja the north. So minus Abuja, any other state in the north, Kaduna, Kano, Nasarawa, Jigawa, Kebi. All those states i've never been and it's actually quite unfortunate because i'd like to visit to be honest at least know what it looks like i've never been to port harcourt there's many states i've never been to but particularly the north i've never been there and i like to go there nine besides my wedding day and my sister's wedding day i've never used a professional makeup artist to do my makeup ever my reasons <laughs> one is that i just feel very somehow about like them using products they've used on other people's skin on my skin I don't know, I'm sure some makeup artists, they are clean and they take care of their stuff. But I just have that thing in my head, like, this lip gloss, where has it been? This brush, where has it been? 
your face down my face why are you close to me i'm just weird like that then number two is that i just i never stay in one place like my eyes i get teary eyed easily so when you're doing like my eyeliner or my eyeshadow or putting lashes or whatever that's doing my eye i feel like i'm going to even make you measurable because i'll keep on doing like this like i my eyes once someone comes close to my eye like i'm very i don't know how to explain it but yeah i, I just cannot stay in one place for someone to do my makeup so i don't even know i survived my makeup for my wedding to be honest and i was this close to doing it myself but i just said you know what let me just respect myself and save myself the stress but yeah i never had any professional makeup done i would like to maybe at some point in my life maybe i'll get used to it but for now i just haven't i've not found any reason to i feel like i do pretty decent makeup on myself but if i really need to use a makeup artist maybe i'm open to using one but i just never thought of it and i never think of using a makeup artist when i'm doing like photo shoots or going for events i just do my makeup myself and i go to wherever i'm going to last but not the least in my head i really want to be a computer wizard or a computer witch or a proper tech girl like if i wasn't doing fashion like i wasn't doing business i want to be like a proper it person like those people that know how to hack like they're just pressing computers pressing things things will just be moving up down coding all those things like oh my god that's like my dream but i don't have sense you know i don't have sense so i don't have the strength to be learning stuff figures numbers if you open excel for me you're going to give me a migraine excel a oh lot that's the worst thing ever but you know those are now to just use things and just in my head that's what i want to be that's what i want to do so in my next life i hope god makes me so smart that i'll be like all those tech guys and all those people that know how to do shortcuts when they go to your laptop just do cha -cha 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 -cha, click this one if you see me using my laptop you'll be cringing like I, I use my laptop like an old woman i'm like So yeah, basically, if I wasn't doing what I was doing in my next life, I'll definitely want to be like into IT. I feel like it's so cool. I feel like it's the sexiest job ever. And I'm watching movies and people are like, they, when they get the nerds, the hackers, I'm like, ha, huh, God, goals. I really want to be like that. The kind of things I'm hacking into. I will be a hacker, you know? Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I just wanted to do like a very short, fun video. And let me know if you relate to any of these things I mentioned. And tell me random facts about you as well. I'd like to know that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I cannot wait to get to 1,000 and to be monetized. Yes, I cannot wait. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.